Hey guys, we're here to tell you about the Thousands Club. The Thousands Club, yay! It's an online fitness program that lasts the whole month of July. We start July 1st. And what is it? What is it? It's five exercises and a calendar that shows you every single day how many exercises to do. And when you complete the whole entire calendar at the end of the class, or the challenge, you will have completed a thousand push ups, a thousand ab crunches, a thousand squats, a thousand deadlifts, and a thousand superwomans. And um, there you have it. If you don't like those moves, you can always make a variation on any of them um, to work with your body if you have an injury. And don't let the moves that we specified stop you from creating it as something that is really encouraging. It's also a place where you're held accountable. And what you'll get with the program, you'll get this PDF and you can print it off and do your check off. You'll also get a group, a private face group, Facebook group um, for support. You can also text or email your, the rest of your team and let us know how you're doing. A lot of accountability. And there's a lot of reasons why we've been doing this for nine years because it works, because you get strong by chiseling away a little bit at a time. And it only takes about 10 minutes a day or less if you're quick or more if you like to take your time, however it is. But I have these ladies here who are going to share with you why they like to do it. And then also we're going to show you the moves that we've designated and a couple variations in case you're thinking um, that you might want to sign up and play with this this year. So who wants to share about what they like about Thousands Club? I'll go. Okay. I love, I love that it, um, it counts as strength training, cardio, flexibility, everything in that short amount of time. And um, also I like... Uh, working on just carving out a little bit of time for myself each day like a commitment like doing this and ending up at the end of the month so much stronger i love that ending up at the end of the month you will get stronger i promise if you do everything that is listed here you you will get stronger there's no doubt about it kelly anything any reason that you like it uh, the same reason that jenny said i love it because it's just a small amount of time it's summer we're all busy we're doing things but yet i can carve out that 10 to 15 minutes mm -hmm. and i found if i miss a day i can still catch up without spending an entire day doing it yes so it's doable i feel it's you know obtainable and i also feel like i am stronger at the end i love it yeah. so those of you that say i don't have time for it She's a full-time working mama and she can do it too. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, what do you love? I like the strength. I like the repetition of the same exercises. You do them every day mm -hmm. and push-ups are hard for me. And I'm always amazed at the end of the month, how easy they are. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. I like yeah. the, the strength that I gain. It's quick. It's easy. Mm -hmm. It's repetition of same moves, but I love the strength I get at the end of it. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Molly, anything you like about it? Um, I just like the consistency. You know, mm -hmm. every day you've got a goal to check off the list and mm -hmm. it is pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And like Jamie says, you really do see results from the beginning to the end. It's like, oh my gosh, I can actually do these push-ups without resting in between and maybe do some more planks or just you do get stronger and it's recognizable. So it's effective <laughs> that i love to check those boxes I'm, I'm weird like that though. and also the community just knowing like that we're all kind of doing the same thing so like yeah. mentally you have a connection mm -hmm. like oh i know molly's doing this today <laughs> and we all know that we're doing it together i know misery loves company sometimes <laughs> sometimes and then some people love the bracelet yay there's different bracelets <laughs> and some people just are like, I need a prize at the end. I need a tangible <laughs> prize. And so we have our uh, own in-house designer, Becky Jones. Every year she makes a beautiful bracelet. I'll be posting them so you could take a closer look at them. And then the other thing that we have, if you do complete it only on time, you can't be late. You have to be able to complete every single checked box by the end of the series. And you will get on what is called the wall of fame and uh, pretty impressive if you're on there, because even though it sounds easy, it's challenging and it, it takes something to get on the wall of fame. So I'll also post all of the boards, all of the names of the people who are um, have been uh, on the board 
over the last eight years, year nine coming up. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the moves and, and see if this is still something for you. And then we're going to have a drawing of all the people who have been on the board over the past uh, eight years. And we're going to pull out a name of someone. And then that person is going to get a free entry into the challenge, which the challenge costs $39 if you don't want a bracelet. And then it's $79 with a bracelet. And you'll get that free if you want to pass it on to someone or whatever you can, or you can use it for yourself, however you want to do that. But first, what is a squat? Who's showing the squats today? <laughs> Kelly is. So the squat is going to be about building strength in your glutes, your legs. You're going to turn sideways so they can see. You're going to have your feet about hips distance, or you can do it with your feet together. And let's do a few squats. Whoop, she's going to strip down for you. Here she goes, a little squat, pushing the bottom back. And then check out her heels. The weight is on the heels. Beautiful, Kelly. And what about if you don't like squats? What can you do? We can do a variation. Yes. We can do a variation where you just do a little leg lift, working the glute, keeping the legs straight, and you'll do these instead of squats, if squats are hard on your knees. Yay! Thank you, Kelly. Who's showing the push-ups? That's Miss Molly. Tell us about the push-ups, Molly. Um, well, push-ups you can do in plank, um, or you can do them on your knees if you don't want to, or maybe a combination of both. Um, so plank, I like to keep my um, my elbows close to my body, and that's going to work more with my tricep. And I guess we have a flat back. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, wow. Beautiful. Nice. And if this sounds a little like too intense, you can come to your knees. Have a little fun here. You can take yeah. your arms wide. I always end up wide, to be honest. <laughs> And um, you can always do them on a table if you need a little bit more of a modification, or if you have knee or wrist issues, you could always push against a wall standing, so. Love it, love it, love it. Who's showing the Romanian deadlifts? Deadlifts are another move, working the back of the hamstrings. This is Jenny showing a little, a little Romanian love. Pushing the butt out, a nice flat back. Yeah, anything else you want to tell them? Well, you could do it without weights for sure. You get still a lot out of it without weights. And just as small or as deep as you like to go. Beautiful, little Romanian deadlift. Okay. Perfect, looks good. If you don't like the deadlifts at all, maybe you can do some bicep curls. There you go, little bicep okay, curls okay. instead of the deadlifts or anything else that works. All right, come on down, Jamie. This is our new version of Superwoman. Superwoman, I know, sorry, I, I messed her up. She's doing two moves here. So in the past, we used to do them arms out and we used to lift and lower with the arms out in front. And that was hard on people's shoulders. So we've adjusted it. You're gonna pull the hands back, palms towards your booty, and you're gonna lift the shoulders and then lower everything down. Lift and lower. Oh my God, it's beauty, beauty. And what this does, it strengthens the back, the shoulders, the glutes, the hamstrings. Yay! That's our super woman, super man, super person, whatever. And the last one is abs. Just do a regular crunch. Yeah, so you can hands behind the back or behind the head and ab crunch right there. You have a little gap between the chin and the chest. So beautiful. And then if you don't like those, what else could you do? Rock and rolls. You can oh, yeah. grab your knees and you can rock and roll. And maybe this is what your ab will look like. Yay! So many Yay, so many variations. And if you don't have that or you have something else, everyone's gonna come in. We're gonna get ready to pull the name out. I'm gonna let Jenny do the honor. She's gonna swirl it around. And remember, you can start signing up now. It's 39. That's gonna get you the PDF calendar. That's gonna get you into the Facebook. It's gonna get you access to any coaching tips. Just text me and the email group. And the winner is... Timmy, Timmy, oh, get 
a free bracelet and a free entry. And you know what's so funny about her? She has always got the, the smart alecky comments and encouragement and the laughs on the Facebook group page. So anyways, we hope you guys sign up and we hope to see you there and join us for this uh, fun, fun challenge. Any questions, just text us. Bye. That was a long goodbye. <laughs>